What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great, great hump day and that you are getting over the hump. Um, I've got an interview with Dan Salio in about an hour and a half. We're going to be going live on his channel, uh, Jacob Sports, as well as here on Joe Boo Sports. And I hope you guys join us. Um, this is something different than I think anybody else has. Basically having a Cowboys and um, media personality from Philadelphia kind of looking at each other's team and it's going to be interesting to see how it works um, so definitely look out for that and we'll have the tape of it out later in case you don't be aren't able to see it so yesterday Stephen Jones uh, on Tuesdays we're back to the norm of Stephen Jones being on the radio and things and talking about the draft uh, one week from right now we will probably be in Michigan getting closer and closer to being at Detroit. We will be live streaming from uh, Detroit. We will be bringing you all the news and all the coverage of the Dallas Cowboys because it's all we got. It's literally all we got. So I want to deal with Stephen Jones's message here um, about contracts. I just want to play a little excerpt of him from uh, 105 the fan yesterday and get your take and discuss it after we listen to it so let's let's listen then executive vice president Stephen jones good morning sir good morning guys how you doing we're doing pretty well and i know we're going to talk about the draft quite a bit over the next two weeks but usually we get a chance to catch up about the off season in this first one i am really curious and i've heard some of your comments in the off season is there any part of you that wished jerry specifically wouldn't have said all in <laughs> Because that no, <laughs> no? okay, but, you know no, I, I think if you're not all in in this league, you're all out, and I don't know of any of the 32 who aren't all in, and uh, you know everybody uh, can have their own definition of what that means, but I've never not known us to be all in, nor have I known anybody we compete against not to be all in. It's you know they have different strategies as to what that means, but at uh, you know at the end of the day, uh, if you're not uh, really all in trying to figure out how to you know how to uh, put together a championship football team then you shouldn't be in this league i definitely understand your point about different teams having different methods for the cowboys in the off season the different method that y'all went was spending by far the least amount of money in free agency what would you say to the cowboys fans who do not believe that y'all have spent this off season building a championship roster well, at the end of the day, you always uh, can only, and we spend max, max money, uh, you know, year in and year out. All 32 can only spend uh, the same amount of money over a five-year stretch. And when we're all said and done, we max out our salary cap every year, and uh, we, will have, we will have done that. And, you know, hey, what comes with having a good roster, which we do, and – you know, we also, uh, you know, are looking towards signing our own guys. It doesn't mean it happens overnight, but when you're wanting to sign uh, players like Dak and, and Micah and CD, then, uh, you know, that certainly uh, you have to hold money back if you want to have a realistic chance at signing those guys. Can you kind of walk me through that strategy then of the next part for this this season's team? Is it going to be... Hey, we're investing heavily in draft to make sure we have the roster filled. Well, we just look forward to a great draft, and we've got a lot of good young football players that we feel like uh, uh, can step up. But we do have uh, the draft coming up. We expect uh, uh, some good things to happen for us there in terms of uh, uh, where we happen. may have uh, some holes. And then, of course, uh, you know, as I said, player acquisitions, uh, 365 days a year, and. Uh, we uh, uh, certainly uh, expect that to be ongoing as well uh, in terms of uh, filling holes with players who aren't necessarily in the draft, but uh, uh, certainly understand where people are going to measure, uh, you know, whether you lose somebody or you, uh, or you, or you replace them or don't replace them uh, right then and there, then uh, we understand that. But uh, 
Uh, we certainly feel good about the direction we're headed. We like uh, our roster. We like our football team. And right now we're, we're focused on the draft, but uh, we're also looking at uh, other, other situations that could help our team out. All right, Stephen Jones here on the KNC Masterpiece on 105.3 right, so we'll, The Fan. We'll what carries right more weight this season, adding around Dak for another run or Dak carrying even more of the load? Well, I think any time uh, you, know, you have a great quarterback, uh, that's part, part of what comes with uh, you know, uh, accountability when you uh, certainly uh, make the kind of money Dak's making. But he, you know, he had a great year last year. He was, I think, number two in MVP voting. Uh, had a great season. Unfortunately, uh, you know, we didn't uh, play. We didn't do what we needed to do to beat the Packers. And uh, and so we've just got to continue, uh, you know, to figure out uh, what's in the best interest of, of this football team in terms of uh, making it better and giving it the best chance to, to have success in the playoffs. We understand completely until uh, we go – uh, have success in the playoffs, there's going to be frustration. I mean, we've won, uh, you know, for three seasons, we've won uh, 12 games, which is, I think, as much as anybody over a three-year stretch. But we hadn't had success in the playoffs. And until that happens, we understand uh, uh, that we're going to be held accountable and people are going to look and uh, uh, have criticism. You said you understand that y'all will be held accountable. and that Okay, so we'll leave it right there. So I guess... If you're a fan of Micah, CD, and Dak, then you figure that the Joneses are trying to get them signed and that they do want them to get back. Now, here's the thing I will say about Stephen Jones. You may not like Stephen Jones, and most people don't like Stephen Jones, but Stephen Jones, unlike Jerry, Jerry will shoot from the hip and say just about anything that's on his mind. With Stephen Jones, he usually doesn't bullshit you. You may not like what he has to say. But he's going to give you the real lowdown on how he feels in the direction of it. When he said in the past, we believe in our own guys, he does believe in keeping the same players. And there is some merit to this. I, don't, don't get me wrong here. I'm not in the business of trying to um, basically take uh, and defend Stephen Jones. But in today's NFL, where you have such limited time to work together with players, if you're bringing in people constantly, you don't have as much cohesion. Uh, if you think back to how much time it took our offense to get together, changing from uh, Kellen Moore to Mike McCarthy, those first three, four games, the offense didn't start getting it together until the later games in the year, after the bye week when they actually had chances to actually play us. Because in today's NFL, you don't practice the same way you do in a game. You don't tackle. You don't go full speed. You're not hitting. And it's different. It's, it would be like if you were a NASCAR driver and you practice at 55 miles an hour driving and racing. And then come Sunday – you're racing at 220 miles an hour. It's not the same, bro. It's not the same. So that's, there's a lot to having guys that are there for a year or two understanding the philosophies of what you're trying to do. Um, again, sometimes in a play, it just takes one guy to mess up to screw you over. Now, spending money and spending money wisely are two different things. Now, the Eagles, they believe in Devontae Smith, for example. So, because they looked at this and said, we can make him happy, we can lock him down, we have some years left on this contract where we can pay him in today's money that won't count against us until it's tomorrow's money, for example. Because they signed him now, they can give him the bonus. They can give him the guarantee. He's happy as can be. But come two years from now, three years from now, when it starts hitting, the $25 million that he's being paid a year, salary average, when he looks at that and guys are getting paid 40 he's going to look at that and like, damn, I'm getting underpaid. Yeah, but that's the deal you signed. And that's the thing that the Cowboys don't do. When they sign a guy, they're signing him and paying him right now at today's number and resetting the market and are paying for it in today's money as opposed to down the road. I'm not saying that the Cowboys don't spend money, 
but we have always been so top heavy with our contracts. And this is before Dak got his deal. This goes back to with when, when you could go back to Dak, excuse me, Tony Romo, um, uh, Jason Witten, Demarcus Ware, Tyron Smith. You had basically seven, eight guys, that's right, that are eating up 50% of the cap. And so when you have eight guys eating up 50% of the cap, you still got 45 other guys that have to eat. And those guys are eating on, you know, basically veteran minimum contracts. And when you lose one of those players and you don't have in-kind players to step in, that's when there's problems. And that, my friends, I will say, will be the Cowboys' shortcoming. You can say that what the Cowboys have done if nothing else keeps them from being rock bottom. But I don't know if it's enough to get that Super Bowl. All right, good people. I'm going to finish getting set up for my time with Dan Salio, and I hope you guys join us. We're going to start a few minutes early uh, before we join his show, so that way we can get started. Peace out. They run. They laugh. I see the glow shining in their eyes. Like I see distant, strange, 